man behind Zoomer Radio, Zoomer Media, Zoomer Magazine, all that, Moses Neimer, he's going to love this question. He's going to love you because I, I want to I zero in on something here. <laughs> this vineyard that we're standing in front of hasn't been a vineyard for all that long. You were telling me it's been about 10 years, right? Right, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so forgive me for pointing this out, but 10 years ago, you were a guy, I'm picturing early to mid-60s, yeah. right? Back then, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 10 years ago, you were in your middle 60s. What makes a 60-something-year-old guy want to clear out 33 acres of land and start a vineyard? Yeah, because I felt a little guilty when I, I, I left this place to my father uh, when he was struggling uh, back in the uh, 61, and I joined the Army to get away from it. And uh, and it, but the land stayed in the in the family, and somehow or another, you know, the salmon they they leave their uh, their stream mm -hmm. and they and they swim in the oceans of the world. All of a sudden, something tells them they got to go back, and I, I'm back doing what my old man did, which I thought was stupid at the time. But um, it is growing fruit and making it into a product and selling it. And it was something that just brought me back to the place. The name of this place is uh, Barren Ridge Vineyards. Are you a baron? <laughs> no. no so, so give us some history. <laughs> give us some history on why it's called Barren Ridge. Uh, this place is called Barren Ridge because it is uh, a place that j it doesn't rain. It. Uh, in fact, I didn't know that when I was a kid, and a farmer had to tell me when I was complaining about how dry it was when I was clearing the land, and uh, he just looked at me like I was crazy. So, why do, where do you call it? What is this place called? It says Barren Ridge. He said, "Why do you think it's called Barren Ridge? Because it doesn't rain here for some reason. It's a dry spot." Would have and, been a better story if you told them you were a baron. You know that, eh? <laughs> yeah. If I was a baron, I could actually really afford to have a place like this. <laughs> but you, so a place that doesn't get rain, yeah, is good for wine. It Why? Is. Why? It is because the uh, the the grapevine has to struggle. And uh, when it's when you've got lush uh, ground and a lot of moisture, it it grows like crazy. Grows too fast. Uh, it, it 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 adds moisture to the grape and dilutes the flavors in the grape. And uh, so all the the best wine in the world is made from really usually really poor soil and soil and in in uh, places where there is very little rain. And that, and that's the reason that with this particular area, the Shenandoah Valley is going to be noted one of these years as one of the premier grind going great regions in the U.S. I think. So, does that does that include year to year though? Like, for example, can you look at a year and know from how much rain you got what kind of wine your your is going to come out of the barrels that year? You well. <laughs> It's agriculture, and you never know what's what to expect. We could have a perfect year, and it's been dry all year, and we're making the best quality grapes we ever had. And unfortunately, we get the uh, uh, September. We get the uh, uh, Atlantic hurricanes, and when they come through, and it'll destroy it'll destroy everything. It, it'll rain like crazy because of the uh, hurricane, and uh, so we'll lose. We won't lose that crop. We'll make wine will make decent wine very good wine good drink easy drinking wine but not the world world quality wines but uh, yeah now, i heard you mention earlier john that you've got the most ancient soil on earth right yeah how important is that oh it's it it's imp it's important to know because you you need to, it, terroir is a is a uh, a really important uh uh, phrase in uh, winemaking and you want to know where your soils came from and our soils was formed by the decay of the first mountain ranges that existed on earth and over the millions of years that that the erosion has has taken that earth from it, the mountains to this valley and uh, and it's made some very unique very unique uh, soils here now, you're a person that's got a long history with the Shenandoah Valley as well. I mean, we were talking about, you know, you joining the Army uh, way back. Uh, yeah. So you've watched this evolve over the, over the last several decades. What's 
the gem here if if like where's where's the spot where the locals are going to go and and hang out and really just kind of bask in how great the Shenandoah Valley is uh the locals are in the valley we're not haven't been noted as a wine cultural area uh it's it's just beginning to grow uh, and and it hasn't been recognized uh, far and wide. It's recognized in Virginia as the best place to grow grapes, but it, outside of Virginia, it is just beginning to get notoriety. And we're just beginning to learn because we're fairly new at this in the valley of how to make the what what's the best grapes to grow, how do you and the best way to make the wine from it. So. We're at the in an evolutionary process. We're at the very incipient stages of developing this into a major wine-growing region, as it was in apples back uh, at the beginning of uh, the last century. Now, John, you've got quite a title here. Someone tells me that you're the president of the Shenandoah Valley Wine Trail. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, now, what does that involve? Uh, that is basically trying to get the word out that what we're here for, what we have here. We, we People come down from all over the U.S. and, and from Europe and so forth and say, wow, this, these wines are great. We, we love it. We didn't know anything about it. And that's our problem. Nobody knows that we're here because we're just getting started and uh, we've got a long way to go and the whole the whole purpose of the wine trail is to is to get the word out exactly just how important this area is well can we get to the good stuff soon I want to taste a nice Pinot Grigio I want to see what I want to compare it to a nice Toronto wine I guess no. okay you will and uh, we and as as I was telling you earlier we get a lot of people from uh, Canada mm -hmm. come through mm -hmm. and we have some come every year just like uh, uh, like a migration uh, every year they're here on their bikes on their uh, bicycle clay and yes. uh, and yes. uh, and uh, we look forward to them every year it's on the calendar they're going to show up <laughs>